to the prep room. I repeat, at this time, please make your way to the prep room. Yes, Heavenly Father. Did you just call she Ten thousand thank yous. <laughs> yes. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> don't be jealous. We are we are physical. <sighs> I'm coming. Tech nerd. <clears throat> to all of your followers watching, tell them I said What's up? E I honestly probably not gonna get the whole game. I don't. I don't like subscriptions. Yeah, it's a thing. But it's fine. I'm sure you can beat the full game in like if you buy like a couple months and then just like drop the subscription permanently. That's what I would do. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. It's the old school version of the tour. I'm so happy. It's the old school version I haven't seen the old school. I haven't seen the old school version of the tour. There is no split path. It's just Sheen. What? It's just Sheen. <laughs> Small. Sheen's path, wherever he goes. I have my index back. So we do whatever Sheen does? <sighs> yeah, basically, we follow Sheen. <laughs> I can move my fingers. Wait, does that mean that Sheen here yeah. has Old the school, capabilities yeah. of just going ad lib yeah. off the wall? Oh, wait. So wait, does that mean I'm going to have that. two If I had to the neutral ending, one of the main ending and one of the and old school? Even. I would have joined Sheen on this little world hopping event. Geo. I usually do. You could check. I'm not sure if I do. I, I might, I might have an older recording. <laughs> everyone he drops off. Father, I have missed you. I mean, to be fair, we changed an Amogus at them. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the first time, this is the first time me ever seeing Rendizo in VR while on a tour. He's always on PC. I've seen him. I know, right? Oh. And to you. <laughs> I don't think he should be allowed to have fun. He's a scouter say on Rendizo's power level. Wow. Oh, he, he can. He's allowed to have fun, Pat. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> Not only do you have limbs, you have a bamboo <laughs> stick, which is already better than most. Are you on the diamonds? Hello? Uh, oh, I'm gonna turn my avatars off now. Are you having like a trip right now? You're in the center of a... Ah, the tea's done. Does this smell like chloroform to you? Eleven. Ten. All right. Alright, uh, I have Nine. a- Has anyone else seen the clown that hides from gay people here? Eight. No, I'm not seeing Yes. Anything. Yes, I have. Seven. I've never seen it. Starting. Six. Okay, you heard it. Six point five. Five. Oh, like the fact that the count- Four. 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 Coming. Three, three. Son. This mother's counting high. Son. Oh, no, Two. it's counting down. Holy shit, it's e. Oh god, we're all gonna die. Pussy. Happy Pussy. New Year. <laughs> Dearest oh, travelers, welcome to the rendezvous. The Your attention, please. Dangerous. The event now begins. <laughs> it seems you've met with an uncertain fate. Yeah. You find it's yourself at an interdimensional crossroads. A rendezvous of tra travelers between worlds. We have met before in a different story. 
But please, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic, mimetic meme complex originating externally to the real number domain, and I project as a tour guide into the global consciousness stream. Double mimetic. Interesting. We tour guides enjoy telling stories to mortals, and thus we created this rendezvous to offer tales of hope love and wholesome good times yes friends we are vr travelers we create immersive story-based tours with original writing beautiful worlds voice acting and 100 percent wholesome team effort we do this for fun. We do this for free. We do this to be a bright spot in the world today. <laughs> for those of you that are new here, our tours are interactive and multiple endings are possible based on the actions of the entire group. Yes. There are many mysteries to find if you are listening carefully. And all of our tours are connected by a central lore. Together, the community works to find the secrets hidden in everything we say and do. Even this world, the rendezvous that you are now standing in. Travelers, tonight we will go to the anomalous narrative of the painter, a world of fractured timelines and broken memories only held together by a specific chain of thoughts. This was our first tour, and what started VRT. It is unique, as it is almost entirely improvised. Now... We will initiate a phenomena phase shift and open the portal. My friends, <coughs> my travelers, <laughs> I will now open an invite plus portal to the world of the painter. You are welcome to stream or record tonight's event. If something goes wrong, this must the only way into the world is sending an invite request to someone else already there. That includes me. If something goes wrong and you crashes, please feel welcome to send me a friend request and send me an invite request and I will get you back into the world as soon as I can. At this time, you may add me as a friend or you may add someone else here as a friend to get you back into the world. Now then, travelers, for those of you standing in front of me, kindly step aside so I can open a portal oh, to the narrative the of the painter. Shit, I thought you were going to say another room. <sighs> and... Wait for it. Do not enter. Oh, someone already entered. It's stable. <laughs> Friends, it is stable. stable Please though. enter. <laughs> yeah. oh. That does happen every this once in a while. amazing.
Everything, okay. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean by that? Turned inside out. That seems pretty obvious. <laughs> what did he mean by this? <laughs> uh, I get the idea. <laughs> I don't know if you know, know, I don't like this server. I don't want to join an NFS cult. Kindly wait here. Like we will remain here for another 60 seconds to allow time for everyone to arrive. I beg your patience. Alright guys, let's it's, a, it's a fire drill practice, so everybody get in the corner. I absolutely can. Well, everybody in the corner. Yo, yo. I don't know why, yo, come but come over, yo, it seems bro. a little smaller than yeah, usual for Young Link. I don't get any ideas. Oh no, I'm talking to, I'm talking to the guy who's running inside of you. It's, it's alright, man. I'm, what? What the I'm, I'm not is? mad, I'm just... Yo, I just want, I just want to talk to you for a second. Yo, just, oh, yo, bro. Like, this guy's are running away. No. I keep hearing you say click, click something. something. Okay. Something I just want to, are you the guy? Are you the guy who is oh, using it? I just wanted to tell you that. Click, click, click. It's like, it's free on my bird. But where will we be playing? Someone clicked me. You're the one who used that. What the fuck? Is that me? I just wanted to tell you about it. Yes. I was so, uh, it's not, yeah, it's not really okay, optimized. I'm just gonna sit on my ass. So I might get the lag from it. Oh yeah, oh, that's a spot. No, optimization we are quick. Beautiful. This world is one of the most optimized. Now that we're mad, honestly. Oh, it is, huh? Minus that we're mad. I open up the mirror, so. Who are you? I'm. I'm a guy Wait from a minute. You main Nike. I'm the piano guy from you main Nike. I'm not the only very poor one here. Why is there a PS4 here? Cool. Well, this takes me back. I'm Doji Man. Oh, do we cool. get to fucking Why jump into the... Oh, oh, paintings like Nari 54? I wanna jump into the... Is there a Vincent Van Gogh? German. Yo. German. Well. Yo. Would you like to work on the handbook? Would you like to be handbook staff? The time. Now. Thank you, Baby. Dear. This is five forty-four a.m. in New York City. Newcomers, oldcomers, neutral comers, welcome. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> he came. <coming. laughs> That's a lot of coming. <laughs> well, I suppose I walked into that one. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> wow. But travelers, this story is serious. I'll have you know. But travelers. Listen carefully. But travelers. There are characters in this story that have a degree of life, as you all do. You may be conscious. You may be aware. You may be able to observe the words of the story, the script that they speak, the lines that they abide by and the demons that they fear hidden within the allegory. However, they are depending on you. These characters in this story have every right to life that you do, and if you fail them, they will die. Travelers, this is a story-based tour, and as with any tour in the real world, we kindly ask that you remain with your tour guide at all times. Kindly remain silent as narration occurs. However, travelers, you are welcome to talk as we walk. In fact, it's encouraged, as talking with your fellow tourist is the only way to victory. Oh. One more thing, travelers. This world is massive. One of the largest in VR chat. You will get lost if you wander off alone. If you do get lost or you fall through the world, you will return to this room. And in order to fix the world music, you must click the button on the wall over there next to my fellow tour guide, Rendizo. The button says, if you respawned or fell out of the map, press this button. Travelers, listen carefully. I would like you all to go over there and press this button right now. I guess anything. we're a bunch of... Uh, uh, look behind you. Look right. behind you. You will see yeah. doors have appeared. Ooh. 
These doors allow you shortcuts to the areas of the story that Ooh, we will visit. One? But the most important thing that you oh, can remember, button. travelers, is that that button resets the music. If you do not press that button every time you return to this room, you will have the same music from the previous area playing, and it will ruin the experience. All right, travelers, enough talk. The story begins. Everyone, Shilling please, in a dance battle. click the large red X. Be awesome. Yeah, click the titles. Yeah, oh, it's like Mario 64! What? I knew it was like Mario 64. I knew it! I knew it! Oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 I, I, I know I nothing about it. I saw. I've been trying to dabble in her discussion. Oh, the finest You know, to strengthen the relationship between Cybertronians and Earthlings. Welcome to the room of the painter. Look around. Enjoy the paintings. Enjoy the detail put into this world. Walk around, explore. And I will be waiting for you upstairs by the front door. Okay. Thank you, Hypercube. Mr. Yo, Sheen Bean! Yo, yo, yo Sheen Bean! Yeah. Run away from me, Sheen Bean! Like come on, Sheen Bean, come, 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 talk to me, Sheen Bean! What the fuck you been smelling? It smells like pixels! Oh shit, I am escaping. Fantastic. Everyone's going ahead of Sheen, they shouldn't be. <laughs> yo, stop, stop Sheen Bean! I stop thought running. I got softlocked by the lady downstairs. Between the beds. Yeah, can you guys see any energy in here? Jump. It was an interesting thing. Anyway, so, uh, uh, it's pretty nice. Yeah. I quite enjoy it. Time sake are going to be. Hi there, Christopher. Is that Sheen Bean from, uh, yeah. Lord of the Rings, or is that Sheen Bean from Game of Thrones? Sheen Bean from Lord of the Rings, or is that Sheen Bean from Game of Thrones? It looks like Lord of the Rings. Am I wrong? Boromir. Oh, well, there's yes, red yes, energy yes. on, there's dark energy on. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I think it would be the most years since the beginning of this month. Like the 11th. Shit, I was wrong on both counts. What's this? July 11th. That's all right. Yes, July 11th was yours, July 12th was mine. And our first tour was both the painter. One, the painter. Travelers, look around. Explore the area. It's yeah, beautiful, yeah, isn't show. it? So there's, there's, I have a quest oh, for you, travelers. Jesus, you will not be Take a moment wait, wait. to enjoy the hard work that has gone into this place for you. Welcome to the home of the painter. Take a moment to enjoy the hard work that has gone into this place. Once you've had a good look, please go outside and meet me by the well. Travelers, you have about five minutes to explore. I repeat, you have five minutes to explore. Do not be late. I will be waiting for you at the well. I repeat, wow. I will be waiting for you at uh, the, the well. well the word for this glory. Well. Don't fall in. Okay. Well, Please don't fall in. in. Well, then. So Sheen, we're in a public. Don't well, then. tell people what to do. Ah, oh, yes, this duck. Don't jump in the well. It's, it's a duck. Look at the duck. Zerid, go in there and get him. Have fun with Sadako. Yes, it is the village mascot. The duck. Can someone not keep the warning of falling in the well? The building oh, maker city. Wow. Oh, this mascot be a dust. I feel like it would. Wow, that escalated quick. I'm not jumping. Hey, you go in there. You go in there. You can build your way out. Get in there. Okay, alright. Get in there. Okay, alright. Shut the fuck up. 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 Shut <laughs> you 
I don't know, I dared someone to go and kick out and, and they said no the... you and I was like, okay. Are you fucking hey, yo, this is a hot card. Are you fucking insane? No, that's no, not the only thing that winners. No, it's a cotton candy card. No, See, there's I'm cotton candy right there. The roof. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Cube Man. Where's the villagers at? <laughs> candy Man. Look at their zombie invasion. Can't you see them walking about, doing their daily activities? One of them oh, stole my wallet. Like being on the roof of the building? One of them stole my emerald. I think I actually wow. stabbed the man in the after alleyway. Them. Oh, no. Wow, so we could steal Geo's identity? Someone could steal Geo's identity then, because so, someone stole his wallet. This. What do you know? Who took it? Mm. I don't here. Dang, I By can't. the way, you have two minutes left. I repeat, two minutes yeah, left. Yeah. Looks like she. I want emeralds. What's the dog doing? I have. 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 Oh yeah. The fat Yoshi. Man carries the power of Chunk. When most of them realize he is power, he is very powerful. Hey, it's Mr. Beast. Chunk Yoshi is some of them might leave. I'm just surprised it's only a figure. You know what? He only sits so he really has one minute remaining. One minute remaining. I have covered my wall up. No, the thing is, like, the thing is, the moment Fat Yoshi walks, you know you fucked up. The moment he starts walking. What do you mean? Is it that time of the month? I mean, how else? Well, I mean, how else was I going to get the wallet back? All that fat is just his reserved power. I don't know where you store your wallet, but I advise you to store it in your pocket next time. How much time do I have left before? I only continue our adventure. Like 30 seconds. I have I have a compartment hidden somewhere on my body. I won't tell you where. Yeah, everyone calls it the prison wallet. We don't talk about that. No, not the prison wallet. I mean, like, I have mine stored in this place. I have some important information for you. Oh, the other prison wallet. He is stored in the balls. Ah, yeah, of course, my bad. I just had another one. Visitors, so I can't see them. You know, I actually heard of one earthling, or I guess in You can't see this is a bucket. Anyway, I don't know if you're here, Sheen, but the avatar that's normally used to help people get across the parkour in the archaeology is no longer available. It's the time has expired. Travelers, time has expired. Gather around, gather around. The cube. Look at me. Yes, I also have a flying avatar. Oh, they I have one with a very intuitive flying system that I together. developed. Did you just fucking shush me? <laughs> Welcome, travelers. The story truly begins now. For those of you <laughs> that is your first time Let's here, see. I kindly you. ask your... <laughs> your forgiveness, as what you may have heard about VR travelers is truly... Wonderful and majestic. However, this was our first tour, and our tour started as 100% improv. Our other tours are much more developed. That's not to say that the painter is the favorite among many. And so, and thus, I will do my best to be the favorite for you as well. The story begins. One morning... The painter wakes up. He goes outside and watches as he greets the village chief. The village chief reminds him that preparations for the wedding tomorrow are underway. The painter thinks of his friends and how excited he is for them to have a new beginning. He then lowers his head and inhales as a wave of unexpected pain hits him in the back of his mind. He remembers something. He remembers he was commissioned to paint a portrait. A portrait of the wedding. That's right. 
He thinks about it, where it's going to take place, and what he needs. Because what he needs is pigments. The necessary pigments are not here. They're gathered by ingredients of the good doctor up on the mountaintop. And thus, the painter remembers that that is where he should head today to prepare the ingredients for the pigments. My friends, every door you see can be explored. But for now, please, please kindly follow me. The painter makes his way up to the good doctor's house. This way. Cube currency, he also cube got some chicken nuggets yet. on the way. Do we got chicken nuggies? Yeah, we got yeah. Some chicken nuggets on the way. <laughs> Yo! Are we like Uber Onward. Eats? We're delivering oh, chicken nuggies while we get our pigments? No, we no, we're, pigments no, we are, pigments. we're eating the chicken nuggets. We're Dude. the ones eating the chicken nuggets. I guess, I guess we're Hold just up. a bad Uber Eats delivery. Yeah, are there enough chicken nuggets? VR Eats. <laughs> VR Eats, please. Oh, VR, VR, VR to Eats. Uh... We are travelers. Eats. I'm not trusting my gut. I feel like I'm gonna get lost. I gotta, I gotta say that name. That is such a good name. <laughs> travelers, listen carefully. This place is full of pitfalls. You need to jump carefully, and take care not to fall off the cliffs. All right, travelers. What good luck. If I do. Is it gone? Oh, Far from it. Oh. Oh. You die in VR, you die in real life. Oh my God. This is an SAO. <laughs> this is literally sort of online. Hey guys. Even then, you shouldn't worry. You're Luigi. You're good at this hardcore parkour. I don't know anything. Hardcore parkour. <laughs> that somehow rhymes too well. Boing. Ah, bridge. It definitely ain't gonna break. Hmm. Yeah, right. It won't. And even then, a, cyber, a Cybertronian's a sturdy life form. I can handle that fall. This way, friend. Uh, take a shortcut. I've become a helicopter. Uh, like you said. Helicopter. He became a helicopter. Ah, a helicopter? Not, 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 that might be the next pun for the name. Not, 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 he Geo, no. Hello. I mean, Geo, no. Helicopter is too powerful. Someone needs to turn off that microphone. Shane, what does the uh -huh. scouter say on the, on the painter's power level? Did you make them smaller? Or my, is my schizophrenia acting up again? <laughs> You're cringe. It says he needs more base, Geo. Welcome, travelers, to the good doctor's house. Oh, no, about the base. <laughs> this ha our house in the middle of our house. <laughs> travelers, the painter arrives. The good doctor's wife greets him at the door and invites him in. The painter goes inside and takes a seat, as should you, travelers. This way. Wow. It's... Wing. I'm gonna be way up there. <laughs> look up, look up there. Look, the walls the look at the Yoshi. Spot. There we go. Interesting. Oh, hey, it's the equal sink. I have taken a Wait, seat, but I think I'm a little small the for this table. It's the synchronization. Takes all the chicken nuggets. Uh, synchronization. Oh, yeah, that works. Synchronization. <laughs> yeah, this is when being five foot four really puts me at a disadvantage. It must be dinner time. You know, that's a disadvantage. I'm three foot three, exactly. Oh, five foot meter. four. Uh, yeah, people that are like five foot seven are like, oh my god, I'm so small, it's so bad. I'm just like, are, try are being the circus. Or... No. That's macaroni and cheese. I'm being five foot. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 it's on the altar. <laughs> 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 Hello, your shield. Liquid pizza. I'm gonna see. I haven't seen you in a long time. I know. I'm like. I know. I'm like a ghost. What's up? What are you asking? I've been trying. 
Oh, I'm about to hand book recording stuff. I'm probably gonna ask you later to send me a bunch of stuff. Hold on, let me see if I can get it. Uh, I'm, I, I have to look at the thing to see what I need. Oh, but I'll, I'll let you know. This is definitely going to be one of them. This is definitely going to be one of them. Okay. How do you allow The painter sits down with the good doctor and his family. All right, I'm trying to see what the hell I'm doing here. The good doctor eats, and his wife smiles. And the good doctor's daughter looks at the painter. The painter eats his food and occasionally looks around, avoiding eye contact with the family. The hell? Finally, he looks up at the good doctor. As they speak about tomorrow's event, the painter explains he's confident that the painting will be completed very soon after the ceremony, and he knows where he should be standing, and he has all the equipment he needs. That brings a conversation to the pigments. I go for it. The good doctor's wife speaks oh, of the flowers so and how hard they yes. are to find. Thank you. There you go. The flowers. The good doctor's wife seems a bit sad Thank when she so speaks of this. Cool, man. But no one notices. The painter gathers the pigments he needs. He stands, exchanges pleasantries, and turns to leave. But before he does... He feels something. It's distant, cold, and familiar. The painter turns his head toward the back door, and for a long time he stares at it. The good doctor and the wife have already gone to the kitchen to wash the dishes, but the daughter stares at him, watching. The painter doesn't notice, but he follows the feeling and goes out the back door. Travelers, this way. Guys, guys, I, I figured it out. I didn't ask the good doctor if there's any pestilence. <laughs> any pestilence? Dump us. Giant uh, enemy spider. What? <laughs> you are Kirby. Thank you. Yeah. For the link. Let me see your, does your mouth move? Oh, it does. Your mouth no, it's, the part, it's the part where you're asked to be oh, yes. silent for like 30 oh, seconds. Oh, yeah. 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 Remember, this is the like, main it's character in Trails of Cold Steel. Like, yes, yeah, I'd be worried. It's usual. Trails of Cold Steel. That's not really. Travelers, yeah. listen carefully. Yeah. Music is an important part of the tour. And at this time, kindly ask that you make sure your world music is turned on. You let me, you Once me you've checked, like, please, I'm not gonna use. You everyone, that's your business, open the door, so she go inside, and be silent just for a little while. Oh yeah, yeah click the box. She would, she would, wouldn't she? Yeah. You click the box. I don't The good doctor. So, I <coughs> mentioned. So, I Yo, who wants to call my avatar? Please, okay, open the box. Good. Oh my god. It's the Jesus. I had 4,000. I thought I'd just fuck off. Oh. It's a music box. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Um, it's our anyway, same Lord so Jesus Christ. Christ. Like women are really made for each other. Music is a mysterious thing. Yo, Dumbless. It can make one Wanna be a cube? remember moments long forgotten. Things you could clone me. one may have wanted to forget. Or wanted to remember. Of course, be the almighty powerful cube. 
This music belongs yeah, it's to the painter. It's a public clonable avatar, so it's fine. It reminds him of a woman far away from here. Hence, the name of this song is Far Away Promise. <laughs> That's true. Thank you. As the notes play, the painter realizes he doesn't know the woman's name. He doesn't even know what she looks like. All he knows is that she exists. And if he wants to find her, he must continue. Hi. We'll never know where I just was. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go? I don't know. My friends, thank you for making it this far in the story. I assure you, it gets much more exciting from here. Update well the then, -Aid. travelers, at this time, go to your world music menu and turn off world music. I repeat, turn off world music. What? Once you I have finished. Hi, What'd you say? Turn, turn off, off world music. Repeat, turn huh? off world music at this time. Travelers, kindly. Make haste. Follow me back to Lahan Village. <sighs> it's over there. I do you have it? Oh, no, and... no, never mind. Ask, what is your favorite part we had a good run until somebody sneezed. Where'd you go? <laughs> that was not. Oh, yeah. Good. I'm getting a completely different vibe. It <laughs> happens. This tour feels very different. Tour is very I don't typically mute people during that sequence. I don't typically have to. There once was a ship that put to sea. Just kidding. Oh, I mean, the army does the first for everything, right? It's different when everybody's talking at once so they can't hear she, but then there's, you know, when you can hear she, and it's deliberate. Oh, someone was deliberate. Wait, someone was deliberately doing shit? I actually was a little bit. Why are you listening? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Also, my head is kind of tired. This way, my, friends, no, my head is kind of tired. Over here, friends. Over here. I'm talking about you. I'm a little too far. That's my bed. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my bed. I forgot that we stopped here. <laughs> Your subject, don't forget to drink the Kool Aid. It's a cold thing. Why are we in desert, desert island? Because we're trying to find the SS Minnow. Just shut up. Oh, God, it's good to the, well, that was... the painter makes his way back to Lahan village. As he walks down the mountain path, he goes across the bridge. He looks over the hills, and he sees a faint red glow. He wonders, what is that? A light? A bonfire? He continues closer. He makes his way down the final slope, and he approaches the sign. And then he sees it. A fiery glow, embers burning into the night sky. Lahan village is on fire. Something's wrong. Travelers! The painter rushes toward the village. This way! Jump over the fucking fence. There we go. This one doesn't have a mouse on it. Hmm. 
Yo, how do you fly, guy? How'd you do it? There's a button. Turn off the music and you'll feel less peaceful. Toggle. My friends, the painter rushes into the village. Every building is on fire. Everyone in a panic. The painter runs to the center near the well, looking for survivors. He looks up and freezes. There he sees them, floating, unmoving, giant metallic figures, mechs with long rifles drawn. The mechs shoulder their rifles and begin firing on the village. Screams ensue. The painter understands all his friends, his loved ones, all that he holds dear are under attack, and he scrambles to save them through the gunfire. The painter manages to save a few. But as he's scurrying through the village, he looks up, and he sees something. Something different. A dark mech, different from the others. The two seem to make eye contact. Just as he sees it, his vision begins to fade. And in the chaos, he blacks out. My friends, this way. Huh? They say he's gay? <laughs> Yay. I do not believe so. Oh, is this where we turn our music back when I forgot? I keep seeing a vote popping up. It would be a fine place to be so. Although, the mood of the story is still quite unhappy, in contrast. Mm -hmm. Are these supposed to be trees? Oh wait, no, everything's like super small. Yes, don't, yeah, like, so, so yeah, like, don't so click on them, we're on the overworld. Like, you, the <laughs> you don't go to any of the... Go up. Yep, overworld. Yeah. Any of the areas that you click on them, but right now it's do not really click cool. on them. Travelers, mm -hmm. at this time, you are welcome to turn your world music back on to an immersive level. I repeat, please turn your world music back on to where you can clearly hear the music. Ah, uh, yes, the best kind of music to listen to after a burning village. <laughs> PS1 music. I smell popcorn. I don't know why, but it just seems so fitting to be in my ambulance mode in the overworld. The painter awakens. He sits up. The ground around him is singed, burnt. There is a column of smoke coming from where the village used to be. Dry sand dunes. Everything that has, he has ever known, ever had, is gone. Confused and disoriented, he can't remember what happened. He also can't remember how he first came to this village. His memories here, aside from living in the, the room below the village chief's house, he remembers painting. Yes, the paintings hung on the wall are his, but there's nothing else. It's like, it's like it's gone. The painter has nothing left. Pussy. He stands for a while, looking at the mountains. He turns and sees the great forest. He sees the great desert. And then it comes to him. The painter does have one thing left. He has the memory of the woman from the song. And thus, he walks toward the great desert. My friends, this way. Jesus. Oh, you can just walk on the water. Walking on water. <laughs>
This is to prevent like, people from accidentally order. clicking Please on the forest me. and being lost forever. Please are clickable. Oh no, we're gonna get inverted. Is that Star Wars? Same horse ice cream. Are we going to, are we going to Space no, Station 13? It kind of looks like it, but it's Referencing not. Referencing <laughs> Star Wars even before we enter to Zill. Now that's a first. <laughs> Travelers, <laughs> listen carefully. The painter doesn't know where he is going, but he is not a fool. He knows wandering into the desert without supplies is suicide. And thus, tra travelers, we must enter the city of Dazil. But listen carefully. There is a glitch with this world, and when you click enter, there is a chance you will enter the spawn room of this world. Apologies. Jeez, if that happens, remember to click the restart music button and come back here. All right, friends, I'll meet you by the sand buggy. Go to Dazil. Forward, it's better. This in here. and find these items. Once you locate all five items, you must return here to the sand buggy. Do not be late. The five items are as follows. Number one, a red toolbox. Number two, a lone spare tire. It must be alone. Number three, a shotgun. Number four, a bar with many bottles of things to drink. Number five, a water well to fill the bottles. Bonus item, a second shotgun. Bonus item number two, four <laughs> cactuses total. Travelers, you have five minutes. Good luck. I found the shotgun. God, where's that damn shotgun? I'm only doing the bonus of the We gotta make sure we gotta look out. Cactus, 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 cactus. Where would a cactus be? Where would a cactus be? Got your bar of drinks here, got your bar of drinks. Why is it that I always end up as a bartender? Holy shit. I could go in the store. I can go in the store. 
You disgust me, bitch. Yo, I didn't find anything except a thousand V-Bucks. That was hidden bonus item three, one thousand V-Bucks. Here. Don't matter if I can go on this one? No, I can't. Okay. I did not find a cactus, though. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Uh, uh, she's still like, flying back right now. Um, yeah, I know, but like, I know. Mm. And maybe it's just a random day, I, I don't know. Yeah. I'll see if fun. she wants to play. Also, I, got, I, got, I got new skins, by the way. You pussy. Pug. I, I'm, I like my skins that I have. Dual box I have Batman. Oh, Batman. yeah. Dual box. Is. I forgot about this place. I found the one. Did you hear me? I said There's I got two. that off. Oh, you gotta say the Where's the well? I mean, I find she hates the word. Four mini cactus. Brap. <laughs> yep. <laughs> didn't hear from me though. Please don't tell her that I told you. Mm. Well, well, get bonus items are a new thing. Even the last time we ran the paint for the Fulton book, oh. just some new thing she was doing. Ah. <laughs> Why would we need a cactus? Get four oh cactuses. It's a, it makes for a good weapon. You just slap them with it, and then boom. Slap them with what? The tires? Mm -hmm. I can't believe that. Oh, over your hands, so you can. Uh... <laughs> I don't know Brand what that was. Hey, I just watched an episode of Hyena, so I mean, I, I just saw an episode where this guy got fucking bugs on his oh, hand and started beating the shit out of hyenas. Like, am I right? <laughs> I also have a very violent mind, so you know. Cactus boxing gloves. Box Would they be like yeah, cacti yeah. boxing gloves or cactus boxing gloves? Cactus is plural. A single is a cacti. Or is it? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord. Uh, yeah, my English ain't very good. Group of people. Mm -hmm. But if you say boxing yeah. gloves, does that imply the plural is on the, the second part of the that? word or the first part of the word? Is it okay, cacti boxing, boxing gloves or cactus boxing gloves? So I'm wearing a pair of pants. What happens when I have two of them? They used to be separate pants. pieces. Oh, that is good. <laughs> Two boxing gloves, you call them the boxing gloves is a pair of boxing gloves. One minute remains. I repeat, one minute remains. Alright, I'm gonna ask this. Can I do wax on? Wax off? Okay, so... Let her know. I think she's double done now. I'm world hopping with some friends. Can I ask you a question? PM Eastern Standard Time. Yes or no? Yeah, and we're going to Uga Booga. Why don't you just DM her about it? I mean, she's out of data right now. She's not able to see you. Yeah, so like you tell her. When, when I think that the lobby is supposed to be an invite, but it's, Actually, it's public. Her flight done, I'm gonna check my phone. Oh, oh, right, my oh it is public, done. what? <laughs> it's yes or no. Yeah, so I just went off with an armor. Wait a minute, you're in a public world, what? Yes. Or no. Yeah, I've seen some friends too? joining and I've been wondering why. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. Why it's so popular right now, yeah. <laughs> It's a fun fact. We didn't start using Invite Plus until a while after starting, so it's a good nostalgia factor, wouldn't you agree? Hey, nostalgia. Uh, what's Wait, what's a good what's a good nostalgia factor? Uh, uh, if it means people are just more of a world than in in the Times are supposed oh. to be silent. It's a little bothersome in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does this smell like chloroform to you? What? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he tripping. Hey, DR mid, come over here. I need to ask you a very important question. 
Yeah, this my leg, blow up my shut up. Hey, Technic, it's in the cow. How's the supplies up there? Time has expired. This is for travelers. Time has expired. Stop. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. This is SpongeBob. I'm gonna ask, does this smell like anything? Travelers. Did you find the red toolbox? Mm -hmm. yep. no, that's thing. I don't have enough brain capacity to hold five different things in my head at one time. That's unfortunate, pack lover in one, because five <laughs> things hold the brain capacity to hold you in their head at once. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Well, of Only course, five, five different Man. brains. Is... Get owned by the Xbox. Brains. Is... That's five different <laughs> brains is for one pack. He is an Xbox. Hmm. They sick in the duchy. Owned by the There's Xbox. That's what I'll tell the doctor next cockpit. time. My Xbox. The, my Shrek Xbox. Smells like dear. Out of the driver's seat. Well, that's license. quotable. Travelers, congratulations. <laughs> the painter has found all items needed for his quest into the great desert. He also has enough money to rent a sand buggy. And so he does. <laughs> And he heads into the great wow. desert. Travelers, this way. <laughs> what if all of this is just a fever dream compared to overexposure to paint? That's an interesting <laughs> thing. That would be one of the. Guys, look. Go to the desert. Don't actually go to the desert. Now please deal with that. No. Oh, Jesus Christ. I won't get lost. I'm, I, I can't get lost not until I rip those damn cat ears off your fucking head. I don't even fucking have cat ears on this side, okay? Also, do bad ears count? Bad ears? I don't have bad ears either. What are you talking about? Ears? Well, imagine I haven't had one that I got to put in Fortnite. Like, Kill took my cheese. Yeah, they got ears, but they're uh. Yeah, they're bat ears. Yes, now I have bat ears, not cat ears, though. Nothing. Don't give a shit. I know. I have dog ears on my lappy avatar. What is your with your What is with your mic? Okay. I want to ride this one. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Traveler, just listen yeah. carefully. The painter rides the sand buggy into the great desert, and the sun quickly sets below the horizon. He turns to his back, and he sees the brown mountains that he's familiar with gone. Some cool spot incest. Dazil is... Dazil has vanished from sight. And all that he sees surrounding him are dunes. The painter he's begins balls. to wonder where he's going, Too much why rain. he's going. He then realizes he doesn't know either. What's his purpose? And what's the point of this? The memory of the woman from the song. That's all he has. So he looks at the steering wheel and out the window in front of him. And he wishes for a sign. He wishes for a purpose. And suddenly, he sees something directly <laughs> ahead. In front of him, searchlights. It's a ship. It's a sand cruiser. It's armed. There are cannons along the side. And it's drawing closer. The painter identifies it <laughs> as belonging to the country of Ava, the kingdom of Bloodivik. And the painter quickly remembers that there is a war going on on this continent. And he turns off the engine, turns off his lights, and hides. The sand cruiser approaches and the ground shakes. Soon there are troops surrounding him. 
and it's too late. Travelers, we have been taken prisoner, and thus has the painter. Everyone, please remain in the first room. I repeat, remain in the first room and enter the Ava sand ship this way. Oh, people. Oh, God, right bad. side bed, gang. I intend to I'm in my bed here and here in yours. One time. of us is in the wrong space. I'll do that too. Yeah. Alright, does we anyone need healing after bed. being rushed up by those uh, soldiers? There's, there's room. There's room. No. I just want my spine back. What? Well, this can help with that. No, no I mean, the, the, the components from my spine have been stolen, and I want them back. Yeah, I can build you new ones, I just need the schematics for them. No, no, I want my spine. I want a new fucking spine. It's gone. It's gone. Well, I mean, I can, give, I can make you a temporary one until we find your original one, buddy. Yeah. Your spine's made of metal, Jen? <laughs> yes, I, I, took, I, I, I took metal gin and I turned him into my spine. See? That, this is so. Oh, no, extend, extend, extend. Guys, look, extend. See, guys, look. Th his neck is actually hey, my spine. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I thought he was. I thought he just had a rock and sock and robot mode. Just, you know, <laughs> like rock and sock him and he extends. Can you change him? Your fucking head just. Your attention, uh, please. Yeah. It's story time. Apologies for the cramped quarters. Don't worry, this won't last long. But listen carefully. The story continues. The painter finds himself in a prisoner room of the sand ship. He's alone and sits for a while. And he thinks. He thinks about where he's from, about the past, and it's all a blur. He thinks about the future, and of course, it's all a blur. That's justified, right? But the present, where he is now, it doesn't quite make sense. The painter thinks about the paintings he made. They're based off things he's seen. He thinks this, if he would be able to paint this room. And for some reason, he doubts it. And thus, the question comes to him. And the question goes to you all. And your next quest begins. Travelers, listen carefully. To continue this story, you must answer the following. Does complete mutual understanding exist? And if it does exist, how do you define it? If you would like to answer this riddle, this question, Stand between the beds and take the floor. Scarfman, you were there first. Oh. Apologies, Papa Cap. You will be next. Scarfman, the floor is yours. All right. Go on, then. Go on, then. What am I doing? <laughs> the question is, does complete mutual understanding exist? And if it does exist, how do you define it? That's a uh, psychological phenomenon, you see. Um, when two people mutually understand each other, um, you know, they typically... Hmm, that's a, that's a good question, actually. Because when two people mutually understand each other, it typically means, you know, they, uh, they, they understand each other pretty well. You know, don't put... 
Uh, I'm going to have to disagree because I do Silence, not everyone. So... Scarfman, okay. listen carefully. Okay. You said they understand everyone typically well. They understand each other typically well. You are correct. But at the beginning of your answer, you said that this is a psychological phenomenon. Why did you use that word, Scarfman? Because reality mm -hmm. is a psychological phenomenon. Uh, and our, our, our brains and how they communicate with each other are, so, uh, you know, Are you saying that reality is unexplainable? No, I'm saying it's a phenomenon where it, you know, is defined by certain attributes that, uh, can't quite exactly be explained, but we can understand it enough to define it and define emotions, define thought, define patterns in our behavior. We can understand it enough to derive meaning, but not 100%. Is that correct? Correct. Ah, I see. A wonderful answer, Scarfman. You are wiser than perhaps the words you said. Well done. Uh, thank you, Magic Floating <laughs> Cube. Is that a compliment? It is, Pack Lover. Oh, now we have Game two Cube? more answers available. Who will answer this riddle? I will okay, answer after the next person who answers, <laughs> if that's all right. Well, go on then, you girl. I'll answer Pass it. Cap. Papa Cap, you were waiting in line. Apologies, friends. Papa Cap has you, the floor. Um, I, I would say that uh, complete mutual understanding doesn't really exist because different people perceive things differently. Like if I tried to explain how something tastes to you, your taste buds might be different and it will taste different to you. And uh, I may not even be able to explain it the way that it's in my head. So the words that are coming out might be different than what I'm trying to express. So we're not really understanding each other 100%. That's about it. I see. So difference in physiology prevent complete mutual understanding from taking place. Yeah. It's a common sense and a well-established answer. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We have time for one more. Yukuri, Yoani, you've been standing there a while. Would you like to answer? Okay. Now repeat the question again, please. Of course. Does complete mutual understanding exist? And if you think it does, how do you define it? Yes, and empathy. Is empathy measurable? Um, well, it's a bit irrational. So, in a sense, yes. But you can't fully understand someone. You can only do it as best as you can, be in their shoes. But I'd like to say it's still possible to reach a certain threshold where it's good enough. You just said you cannot fully understand someone, but then you said you can reach a certain threshold. I'm failing to understand what you mean. Are you saying that complete mutual understanding no longer encompasses the word complete? <laughs> Maybe you're just not empathizing enough. You're just confusing the hypernova Oh, uh, let's go. I'm so poorly. <laughs> I think you understand. Don't worry. Don't worry. Anyway, yeah, on a serious note, I do believe that it can reach a, it can be fully understanding. You just need to talk it out as much as you can. I will slap you one From day. From perspective to perspective. Okay, I'll try. If you believe in something, you can explain why you believe in something. And if you can do it in a way that the other person can understand your words, then yeah. Empathy. I see. All of you here have laughed, but all of you should know that Yuguri Iwani is very close to the truth. If there's a will, mm -hmm. there's a way. There's a He's there's a quite on track. Very wise. 
However, yeah, travelers, we are out of time. Listen okay. carefully. No. The painter sits for a while and thinks about his situation. He thinks about the probability that he would be here and how he could have changed it. The chances of how things would have been different. How he could have affected those chances and what they might have been like. He thinks about those realities and he looks out the window. And his heart drops until, until the answer finally comes to him. Yes, travelers, complete mutual understanding means. What, what does it mean? Being Wait, uh, what's that noise? The sand ship, it's under attack. The room shakes, oh an explosion happens, the window is filled with fire, and the door burst open. Travelers, this ship is under attack, and the painter must escape, and so must all of you. And thus begins your next quest. Oh Travelers, listen carefully. Find a way out of the sand ship before it sinks. Good luck! Thank you. Thank you. Boy, oh boy! Skip it about Where are we going? Skip about Let me ride somebody. Let me ride you. Let me ride you. Make it a lot quicker for me. Oh, we got jump it? No, we got I can't even see where I'm going. I can't even see where I'm going. Oh my god. There's a robot. Where's Sheen? Oh, there he is. <laughs> There's a robot. Oh, there's a robot. Oh, Travelers. The painter makes his way up the grain. <laughs> he looks down and he sees it. The dark mech. As he stares into the eyes, the cockpit opens and he jumps inside, not knowing what's next. Travelers, jump for your lives. Don't worry about me, I've only uh, fallen half way. What's in that um, pit? <laughs> My eyes. How was it? Is it gonna happen? I tried. Yeah. No way we went into the gold out? The in is the out? Is that in the Why do they call it in? Why do they call it of in when they call you it of in the, in the cold food eyes, out eat the, the hot food? <laughs> What is the cold food? <laughs> 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 mm. And now we're out food? in the desert again. Really yeah, this is like the overworld. Where the hell we are? Yep. It's a lot of story. A big server and a big data right, center traveler around the world. All right, how long Gather is this around. actually gonna be? Because I, I really gotta take a piss. <laughs> Ah, you need to hours. urinate. Good news for you, because we are about to enter a city where you can urinate, and you will have time to do so. Do not worry. Also, that sex. By the way, in other words, <laughs> hold on, hold on for a few more minutes. By the way, yeah, yeah, it's not all terrible. Of you wondering, we are about to embark on the halfway mark of this story. I repeat. We are almost 50% done with the story. The story yes, continues. Yes. Only halfway through this? Yeah.
Yes. But tours range from like two oh, one to two hours painter. to three hours. Oh. Pilots the dark wow. night, flying through the sand dunes. Wow. <laughs> Eventually, his feet catch the sand, wow. and he begins wow. running. He skids to a stop, turns around, wow. and observes the wreckage. Wow. The sand ship is in flames, and he wonders who attacked it. But he doesn't care. For now, all he has next is his goal. But before he can finish the thought, a bolt of ether strikes his feet. He jumps back, dodging narrowly. Now, standing before him, is a crimson mech with golden whips hanging from each arm. The two stare each other down under the hot desert, desert sun. The crimson mech readies its golden whip to strike the painter and his dark mech. And the painter must choose his next action. My friends, your next quest begins. Listen carefully. The crimson mech attacks. What will the painter do? You have 30 seconds to choose. Dodge via moonwalking. Just one try at him. Just like Mother's instinct. Painter saved your way. Charge him to attack and dodge using dance moves. Dodge is okay. Can we just try? I think fine. We'll just do Please. Let me have it. I pray to my Lord and Savior, Kirby Christ. For everything that's going on, just charge right at him. Any piss? I'm so sorry. Can we charge him charge him using dance moves? Please. Can we charge him using dance moves? Please. Okay, charge. Stop tingling me. Slowly advance on just doing both at him. Mr. Nervas, hello there. Hello. The Crimson Mech attacks. What will the painter do? Pray. Wait, who, me? Yes, you, friend. Tell you me an action. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, run for my life. <laughs> from the group. Attack with dance moves, please. No, 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 no. You no, said no, no, no. run for your moves. life. Attack with dance, Attack yep. with dance moves. All right. <laughs> yes. I'll see. The painter, confident, grabs the controls of the dark mech. And... Yeah begins to manipulate it to Fortnite dance. The Crimson Mech takes a confused pose but readies its golden whip which glimmers <laughs> under the desert sun. The Crimson Mech Hesitates because of the knee movements. They don't make sense. And then it attempts to strike. But before it can, the dark mech raises its leg upward and roundhouse kicks the crimson mech across the chin, severing its head armor. What? Yes! The crimson mech takes heavy damage. Round one. Oh my god. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we Chuck Norris the enemy back! I've gone round <laughs> to the Chuck Norris! The painter notices an eye patch and a feather covering the crimson mech's head. They must be pirates. Sand pirates. But before the painter can finish the thought, the crimson mech readies its golden whip for another strike. My friends, yes. you have 30 seconds. What will the painter do? 
Laser pointer, laser pointer, laser pointer. Blind the pirate. 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 Blind the pirate.
There is. Would you like to shoot the ether? Wait, wait, before you shoot, is it what's the gun? Range or far range? It's everything range. Then I would like to shoot. Very well. Can we shoot it like a Kamehameha, please? Okay, I'm gonna have to sit down here and listen to my audio charge. Definitely, we got that ether. We got the ether all charged up. The dark mech clasps its hands together and bolts of ether begin to crackle between the knuckles. Slowly, it brings its hands apart as a ball of pure destruction begins to take form. <laughs> the crimson mech readies its arms to block, but behind it surfaces an enormous ship. A ship oh. of legend of pirates. They quickly surface, and there are people, other mechs on the top. They are cheering for the Crimson Mech to win the battle, but it's too late. Oh, oh no. The dark mech brings its hands in front and lets it go. A world-ending beam ignites and fills the atmosphere, catching the air itself on fire. The beam burns the sand as it rips forward across the dunes. The crimson mech is vaporized, and the beam <laughs> continues forward toward the giant sand ship, splitting it in oh. two and destroying it. Oh, oh. The yeah. crew, cheering for the crimson mech to win, are all murdered in the blast. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nice. Reduced to atoms. Oh, my okay. No one to the You made it the last path of... What do we... Okay, guys, look. No one to the Don't tell Trajan. He'll kill us. Why? The painter is exhausted. But quickly, he ignites the thrusters and takes off into the desert sky. My friends, the painter lives Congratulations, yeah. you have passed. But at what? <laughs> but at what cost? <laughs> we did it. Congrats. But at what cost? We didn't have to well, they're cheering for the other guy, so. <laughs> Nothing major. This way. No, it's true. I mean, congratulations, you all honestly go to sleep their whole life without <laughs> killing. Congratulations, Dumbass, you killed them. <laughs> The painter arrives at the great desert kingdom. Travelers, for your next quest, enter, enter the de desert kingdom and wait for instruction. Uh, Ledovic. Yep. Hold on. About a bloody dick? I need to, um, uh, I need no to, like, come on. I gotta chat with some friends or something. Bloody Vic, that's the name of the town. No. How did we get to self, neck fight self, dick from self, a painter self. looking for paint no, no, for a yeah, wedding? I reset myself. Where are you, Cell? Cell. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cell. Have you ever heard, have you heard of the aristocrats? Mm. What about him? There's a person already here. I know that. Do you know the joke? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, I've heard the aristocrats. I may just keep oh, doing this for the rest of the, uh, uh hmm. I see. He's an, he's an, he is uninitiated. Oh, oh, no. What about the aristocrats? Oh, yeah. You're in for a, you're in for a treat. <laughs> what, what about the aristocrats? <laughs> yeah, you're. Yeah, I, I'm gonna wait till. Okay, okay. What about um, are you into are you into some really fucked up shit? Like, are you okay with yeah. me saying some really fucked up shit? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna wait till. Wait, wait, wait. Who is this guy? I'm gonna wait till Luna's around. All right, travelers, gather around. The story continues. My wireless stuff is dead, so I have to use my computer headset. It's what? It happens. Travelers, I don't, it doesn't gather look. around. It the like story I continues. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, yes, that's what, yeah, I was looking at that down there. The Traveler, the Painter, parks the dark map outside of the great desert kingdom, hidden behind a dune. He makes his way inside, and he sees below him the streets, filled with people trading in the marketplace, busy buying and selling fruits, vegetables, spices, engine parts, high-tech devices. Everything's here. The painter makes his way down below into the crowd and finds an alleyway in the shade. Finally, he sits down to rest. Finally, he breathes. After a while, he's approached by someone, someone in a military-like cloak. He looks up and he sees a young man. A young man with a serious expression. The man has many scars, and he looks tired. The painter stands and readies for a fight. The man raises his hands and says he's not here to fight. He's here to make a deal. He's here to ask the painter's help. And thus, travelers, to hear the rest of this story, you must complete a quest. Listen carefully. In this city of Bledivik, there are specific items and or places that you must find. Each of you must find them. And after you have found each of them, you must find me at the very back. I will be waiting for you at the back of the city on top of the fighter's square. You have ten minutes to complete this quest. I repeat, you have ten minutes to complete this quest. This city is quite large, and you must not be late. Uh, now she, then, door there mentioned? one door that we shouldn't so There touch. is yeah, one I'm door. Gonna, Travelers, gonna, listen gonna, carefully. Look at there is a door in this world that is broken. And my fellow tour guide, Rendizo with the blue hair. Do you see Rendizo standing over there? Rendizo with the blue hair will be standing in front of the broken door. If you click the broken door, it will cause you to disperse and return to the spawn room. You'll have to walk all the way back here. At least you'll have to click the reset music button and find the door that says blood to Vic. So please, oh. if you see Rendizo standing in front of that door, kindly do not click it. Uh. You must find the following. Number one, the aquarium. Number two, the weapon shop. Number three, the secret exit of the hotel. Number four, the metal walls of the machine shop. Number five, the small toy mech on display. I will repeat, number one, the aquarium. Number two, the weapon shop. Number three, the secret hotel exit. Number four, the metal walls of the machine shop. And five, the small toy mech on display. You have ten minutes. <sighs> Do not be late. Hello, Babushka. Ah. I forgot. <laughs> ten bucks tells me someone's gonna click the door without realizing it's gonna make every single one of us feel fall. Yeah. Oh, Fuck you! I give everything to everyone. I know what I'm What's saying. What's about you? Give me your hand. Hand. Skank me out of my uh, energon cubes. Give me your hat. <laughs> <laughs> and oh my and God. the neck is back there. Right? Where are you? Actually, don't eat
in this section. It's gonna have to be a Oh yeah, I think we've got a shot. I think I've got a shot. Everyone's just gathering around the engagement. I've got it. If I open I up the like radio menus, I cannot click I've on been this, so right? far. Just press it. Mm. Yeah, no, I can't. I just got uh, back, yeah. so... I suppose you are oh, doing a quest. Oh oh, what are you looking you for? You touch that door, I'll touch you. You back away. I have away. no idea. I just hey. <laughs> Don't threaten me with Don't a good you time. You touch that door, I'll touch you. <laughs> Actually, um, it's not gonna be a good time, it's gonna be a bad time. It's <laughs> called a door assault, then. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Hmm? Hey, Tech. Hi. Yeah, you click on the yeah. door, then bad things happen. But if you come from the door, okay. nothing bad happens. Hold on. Okay, that explains it. Door, I'm a good door expert. It's the interaction of this door, not the doorway, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even yeah. feel like doing the quest. Come on, come on. Fortune Tower. Go... Fortune's like... Me neither. I was kind of chilling. Oh, you know, I'm where are you? Fortune Tower. Wait, where is she at? Oh, 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 All the way up in the top. Sheen Waiter. It's me yeah. asking. It's always yeah. been me. Yeah. Tell me my fortune. Whoa, okay. Oh, that's good. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty dead. Really I'm yeah, laying yeah, down right now. Okay, bad. It's just equal. Oh, equal. You come to me. I say your estimated life is, uh... Eight years. Can you change your Can you tell me a story? I think so. I don't know, I'm not qualified. Oh, I just you, started today. Can you, can you read me the, the oh, fate of the 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 fate of Standing Okay, hey, let's get it done. Which one of you whores touched the door? I actually know exactly I didn't who it touch was, a so. Door. I won't say who. I won't say who. But click the button. Snitch, 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 snitch. Click the button. And click the, the this door, the middle one. Click the middle one. Right here. Yeah, that one. Hell yeah. Here we go again. So and then right in here, right oh, in there. Someone door. do it again. Which one? Yeah, you know yeah. this. Which door? Not working out for me. All right, go in there again. The which door? Go for the door. Did someone press it again? Yes. Touch that fucking door. Is this the one? Or not? <laughs> yes, this is the door, Mr. Door. Ner Mr. Nervous. Why oh would any of us keeps touch clicking the door. it? I didn't say you were. I was just <laughs> saying in general, <laughs> I've fallen out of the map three or four times now. Yeah, it's like I fell off what? on my own okay. fault. Well, not I'm fault, sure but I just, I just fell off first and then I kept coming back here and, you know, we were all falling through. Now, why am I getting kicked? Because you're clicking this specific what? door again and again. What the? What am I doing? Oh, I didn't you're know what was happening. I thought everyone was just pulling in from mass from something else. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is, these are the little guys from uh, Kingdom Hearts. Okay, I'm just little... here. There's a mushroom cap. I don't know where I am. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh. Who did it? I didn't do anything. I fell through the map. Okay, who did it? We don't. Someone keeps <laughs> clicking it. I'm gonna kill him. Someone keeps clicking it. It has been clicked someone like five clicking. times now. Yeah. Oh my god. See, I'm not even doing it. That is No. <laughs> oh, great. Right. Now I'm going to click the button things. here and then head right through the center door there. You know, right <laughs> panda. You can click the button over here and then click, click the door behind the panda. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I want to get up here and just see. Consult him. Where's the magic cube? I'm, I missed the magic cube. Where is it? Uh, someone clicked it again. Well, I'm, I am, I have a soul. Bernie Andrew? Where is the magic cube? Someone keeps on clicking the door. I have sign up sheet for the death battle arena list. Blood battle. Yes. Oh, this is actually The previous winner was a mo blue monkey God. by the name of J. Blue Pink by the name of J. Monkey. I could join oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Everybody blocked oh, J. Monkey 71, the notorious right. hacker. Right now, I I'm proud. crippled at my desk. Excuse me, why can I not put this in? This is a USB C. Right? The only way I can use my hands is if I'm pushing them over my bed frame because that's where my hands are. What is this place? What is this place? Hello, hello, welcome! This is the sign up sheet for a death battle 5000. The 5000th one. We have had 4999 before this. I'll do the 5000. And dealing with the. What is it like? Lizzie, please don't do that again. What? There we go. Oh, you kept clicking the door, Allison. I was not doing it! <laughs> Wait, I gotta take a picture. Excuse me, Mr. Q. Oh my god, I gotta take a picture. My friend got accidentally kicked. He got accused of something he didn't do. Gosh. Now we have a drama scenario. I can walk. I can Tell your friend to send me an invite request. I'll get them back in. Apologies. <laughs> I definitely did not click the check mark just to go along with it. Okay, I'll tell him. Tell your friend, as a tour guide, I said 10,000 apologies. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready for the death battle. <laughs> death battle! Alright. I like this. The story will now... <laughs> Continue. Travelers, over there, by the fighter registration booths, make your way to the stage. The story continues. You got milk? Fuck, I don't. I don't need milk. Um, yes. I believe, I believe in you. I already registered. There you go. The painter speaks more with the mysterious young man. The man explains that he was aboard the sand ship which the painter attacked. He explains that he is not a desert pirate. He is in fact a desert prince. The prince, the hare, to the throne of Bledivik. <laughs> 
I look tall lady. The hair. Hmm. He explains that he wishes for help to take back the throne as he has been ousted by a corrupt military leader forced to live among a loyalist crew on his sand cruiser in the desert. The painter apologizes and asks who he killed in the Crimson Mac. But the young man dismisses it and says, it's not important. For now, all that matters is they take back this capital. The painter turns around and looks at the castle behind him. He, he sees many people scurrying about, preparing for a tournament. And the desert prince explains that yes, tomorrow, is a tournament, a tournament that will distract the military and allow them to attack and take back the throne. The painter agrees to help and agrees to join them on their attack. And he exits the city with the Desert Prince and they regroup. The rat of my friends, the story continues this way. There you go. Bing. Oh no, we're going to the room with the door. No. Ah. Uh, cool. Well, you are gonna have fun, right? In that lovely boy. Ah, uh, this is in the direction with the room with the door. I don't want to have another one of the. Whee. Have you seen? Madojan's just over there. What the hell are you doing? You're Can just... we ease the uh, universe? Can we stop the pumping the cube. All the so you're humping? Can you catch the use of a broken leg? <gasps> The story continues. Midnight passes, and the painter readies the dark mech. Together with the fleet of the sand ship, more crimson mechs to his left and to his right, they launch the attack on the desert kingdom. They fall on the capital, on the castle itself, and a firefight ensues. Friends and foe are destroyed in the chaos, and the painter makes his way to the courtyard, the center of the castle, and what awaits him is an enormous weapon. It's a mixture of a mech and a war horse, a siege weapon. Close range combat is a no-go, but he tries to escape, and the weapon fires at him. He has no choice but to maintain combat hand to hand. The Desert Prince is next to him, and together they fight. The Desert Prince at the last moment explains that his father 
was killed by the corrupt military leader. And the throne belongs to him. The painter senses he's telling the truth and helps him in a final attack. And just as they're running to attack the siege weapon, the Desert Prince explains to him that when this is all over, he'll help him find the woman from the song. The painter does not remember telling the Desert Prince about this. And the ground suddenly shakes, and the painter blacks out. <coughs> A long while after, the painter wakes up. He's outside the dark mech, on the sand. It's next to him, and it's smoldering. He stands up and looks in the distance, and he sees the desert kingdom, the remains of it, destroyed, a pile of rubble and sand, the entire kingdom, gone. The painter's head is heavy. He's not sure what's happened, but once again, anything close to a friend that he has ever had is gone. He looks over at the dark mech, and he climbs inside, and he makes his way into the desert, not knowing where he's going once again. My friends, the painter wonders, and so do we. Our next location will find us, travelers. Our next location is the holy city. The grand finale of the tour. Travelers, this way. Didn't get to open my sake on time. Onwards! Baby! Hey, hey boy! Please enter oh. the holy city. I'm entering the hole. Upon the first green sphere is what you want to be pressing. The first green sphere is right here. I was thinking of like the anime Nissans. How many different no. forms is that? I should have laughed at that. I mean, with that joke, you had several paths to choose one, and you definitely chose one. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn dude <laughs> finally you loaded in what the hell's the matter with your avatar <laughs> took like a hundred years travelers <laughs> welcome <laughs> to the holy city DRC today. the story continues The painter makes his way inside. He leaves the dark mech outside behind some hills a safe distance away. As he enters, he runs his hand across the cobblestone walls and notices how it, it extends to the floor and to the buildings. His hands graze across the moss and he sees the flowers pass him beautiful colors of blue and reds and yellows this place this place is is wonderful it's cool it's peaceful it's home the painter sees locals passing through the streets and he stops one and chats the painter learns from the local that this is the holy city of Nissan. This city is led by a church, and the leader of that church is Mother Sophia. 
my friends. In order to continue this story, you must complete a final quest. Listen carefully, travelers. This is your most important quest that will affect the story. I would like to ask all of you to walk together through the streets of this beautiful place. Find the spot that you all mutually agree is the most scenic. Once you have found it, gather together and take a group photo. Once you are satisfied with your group photo, please come find me. I will be waiting for you down the lower streets near the back exit. Dearest travelers, you have about ten minutes. Good luck. Ten. I found a spot. Oh, man. We shall find a spot, a spot upon Where which to take oh. our photograph. Where are we doing a picture, boys? This area is pretty good. There's a nice little oh, centerpiece right here. Let me real. I don't think a photo is ever going to take a good backdrop. I was thinking near the grass here, you know? But it kind of overlooking this. I like that. You know? There's a little more open. Oh my gosh. Is so, so why one? is it when you're drunk it's harder to control oh, these things? Maybe in front of the uh, shop. Nice place. Is or the store, or whatever this is. Someone should ask Sheen to be in the photograph. Did do it last yes. time? Yeah, we did the bridge last time. Are we all gonna do it on the roof? The roof seems pretty good. The roof? Yeah, the roof. A lot of us are on the roof. Yeah. We're going to raise this roof with our bodies. We're fiddling on the roof right now. That just seems like a nice place here. Alright. Seems like a nice place. put a lawn chair on top of our roof and just sat. It was like. Yes. <laughs> Al Bundy. Wait, can I can I sit on this dinosaur? Person to jump off loses. Uh, like maybe I don't know. Okay. Uh, let me. I suppose we are on the roof. Yeah, hold on. You suppose the right. roof? I'm, they I'm said. Alive. I swear. I need Hello, to move. travelers. Hello, mighty Sheen the Cubiness. Yes. No, please. Let me turn off. Travelers, Ooh, if you're mind. asking me, your tour guide, to join the group photo, then I must ask if it's all right if my fellow tour guide, Rendizo, also joins the group photo. Absolutely. Is that okay with you? Of course. I yes. mean, he can, we but can sure. let him in. we can let him in, I suppose. Yes. It's a... Uh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but he's probably going to let himself in anyway. Oh, I suppose. <laughs> he's going to photobomb and just take the whole jiggle, picture jiggle. All right, yeah. travelers, on, tell me where to stand. Or, you know, act like an Easter egg. Like, can you find Rendizo in this photo? <laughs> I do not think he's able to float. Yeah, find Rendizo. Where is Rendizo? Where is, Rindizo? Where is the camera being yeah. taken? A ball where is Waldo Wilson? You are a mighty fine as being. Much as I like giant <sighs> Is the photo being taken on this side, seen... that side? Yeah, I think oh, Violet, like, uh, Violet's taking the photo. Okay, so we face Yes, 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 the camera is over there. First, and then Looking towards Violent Violet. From the shortest. Yep. Is there a photographer? Well, why is Violet oh, violent, so? Among Us. Don't say Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. Violent. Sounds pretty yeah. sussy. I don't know about you guys, but equalization is sus. How bad is it if I take the photo like this? No, don't do that, Sal. Oh, what do we say it. on the count of three? <laughs> stop it, Cell. Uh, Sussy. 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 Sussy.
Just let me know when you're ready, alright, boy? Everybody say awkward when they count to three. Awkward. <laughs> alright. Awkward. <laughs> so weird. When. I can't hear yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, I can't hear them either. Violet, are you saying anything? We can't hear you. I think she oh, took, she's she taking hear pictures. Right. I see her hand moving. I think she is taking a picture, so I guess we could say awkward yep. now. Oh, oh, violence done, apparently. Violence done. I totally was not Jack opposing, not at all. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, to me. No, to me. No, to me. No, what preposterous means of accusation you bestow upon me? Well done, travelers. Let's make our way down. <laughs> Awkward. I don't know which one's the one camera user. Oh, dude. Hell yeah, that's gonna be sick. Do you feel your skull explode? Titan. Man. Hey, I wanna go back to the damn pictures and find myself. I said you heard the skull explode. Alright, she's gotta come to send the pictures, where is where she? That's what she said. <laughs> Lizard. There you are. Violet, I am no, I'm getting sleep deprived. No. Yo, yo. Get out of bed. Stop, let me, let me fix your skull. Oh, yeah, you you the the like a man. The water, the water is in bed. The story no. Continues. No. The painter speaks more with the locals, and he learns of this leader of the church. He learns that this mother, Sophia, often told the people, instead of praying to God, and pray to your innermost thoughts and feelings, Everyone always wondered what she meant by that. The painter questions this teaching as well, asking the locals the meaning of it. They seem to not quite be able to answer, but they explain that thinking about it has brought them happiness and prosperity to the holy city. <laughs> What? The painter asks where he can find Mother Sophia. But the locals walk away, and then something snaps. Something connects. The painter realizes he must find this Sophia, this mother. Sophia, and he races to the cathedral. Travelers, my friends, welcome to the grand finale of the painter. This way. Oh, she's the woman. Mm -hmm. On the top? I don't even know what they actually say, all I know is Dordy Mae. Same. <laughs> there is an actual English version of this Yeah. Among us, sussy baka. Sussy baka. Humor is the greater to hell, Dordy Walt, you don't want to be a sussy baka. <laughs> I sure do like using the same. Damn, I've been here for almost four hours. Mhm. Mm See. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done. That's a cool Mac. 
From down there, it looks like you guys are all ascending to heaven. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> 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 Fuck, my back hurts. Travelers. My friends, gather around and listen closely. If you look, you can see each angel cool. only has one wing. Oh, fuck, oh, shit. I ask all of you, what do you think that symbolizes? The 2D image. Half an Why asset. Of late mutual understanding, etc. Half an yeah. asset. Shit. Naniko. I saw you raise your hand. Would you like to answer? Pineapples. <laughs> You see, travelers. Oh, hospitable. A fusion of pine and apple creates perfect <laughs> symmetry. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's a matter of personal opinion. I don't like pineapples. Shut the fuck what up. What on pizza? Well, uh. friends, listen carefully. Some would say, <laughs> what aligns with the church? What the people would teach? And what Mother Sophia would say is that these statues simulate humanity's need to work together to help one another to live or to fly, as to say. God damn, I was going to say that. Realizing one <laughs> is not whole and you must give up a part of yourself to be held by another in order to be whole in return, in order to fly. Yes. This is the gospel of the Nissan Church. But, my friends, there is a deeper meaning to the statue, a meaning only known to Mother Sophia and the sculpture, the artist himself. To completely understand another's perspective, to perceive their observance through your eyes, to withstand their hate, to value their love, to weigh their sorrow, to be clean enough to understand their happiness, to be compassionate enough to support their determination. Is this not the definition of true love? Is this not what it means to be as one? My friends, my very good friends, I have one, only one final surprise for you. I've tried very hard to take you through many places, and I hope you've had a good time, because what awaits us matters most. Travelers, please, this way. My old enemy. Damn. Want to stare for it? Says, be careful. Go the right way. Stop here, please. All right. <laughs> Do not torment me with your slinkies. <laughs> Travelers, it is my honor. It's been a long time, and it is my honor to introduce to you
Mother Sophia. This way. There's on God. I don't know what you guys are talking about. At least it's not the uh, endless stairs from Mario 64. She was a girl from the that he kept remembering. All right, I like it. So. I did. You did. Did you do what I? Um. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I did exactly what you thought I did. I was talking to him, well, not you. I'm gonna do a little more. <laughs> there we go. This is a wholesome community, guys. You see, you see that little white there? Yeah, it's me. It's my signature. Oh, Elmer. Wholesome nice. community. Avatar? <laughs> wholesome can mean many things. Me? I'm definitely whole of something. <laughs> Is this for new boy or Okay, I'm gonna need some help resisting my urge to kill this guy. Oh no, please go ahead, my neck's right here. Travelers, I kindly ask your silence <laughs> as the story gonna... concludes. Here, in this room, Sophia sat in that chair as the painter stood there capturing her likeness. Into this portrait, every ounce of his being went. Every feeling he ever had that was infused with her presence, as if recorded by text via the strokes in his brush. Sophia watched him, and she fell in love. This room... This time capsule was observed by many. It belonged to them. As if the laws of reality dictated as such. The outside watched, freezing everything from within. And they were preserved in this forbidden event. <laughs> But eternity was not granted, and their event eventually ended. You see, my friends, the painter and Mother Sophia are bound by the laws of their narrative, and those that witnessed it wanted it to last forever. The only place a commoner and a holy figure of the church could be together were in this room. And so outcomes were explored and the same thoughts as those above them were shared. And so the painter acted before the gods could. You see, travelers, he lied. The painter told Mother Sophia that he lacked the pigments necessary to complete her portrait. And he told her he had to leave to gather the flower that was necessary for it. That forbidden flower. He left again and again every time he returned, never quite finishing this portrait. And Sophia was not a fool. She allowed it and let him lie, knowing the truth. And she watched him and she enjoyed. Along with her, the gods watched as well, as do we. But we're too late, friends, because all of this already happened. 
you see. On one of his return trips to the cathedral, an earthquake happens, and the painter blacks out as he has before. When he awakens, he finds that we, travelers, are not around him. He is alone. And hundreds of years have passed. The painter runs through the holy city. He sees things have changed. The statues have changed. The buildings are gone and others have replaced him. Something is wrong, he thinks, and he races toward the cathedral, just as he did moments ago with us. He sees the statue, still intact, of the angels, and he turns left, goes up the stairs. He races across the balcony, and a twinge of pain hits him as the statue's hands nearly touch when he looks. He keeps running, up the stairs again, and he burst into the sunlit room where we stand. And it's empty. The painting is hung on the wall. The easel is gone, the paints are gone, the chair is gone, and Mother Sophia is gone. The painter learns that Mother Sophia died, sacrificed herself hundreds of years ago for the holy city in a holy war against a gray enemy. The painter does not understand why the people deserved her sacrifice. He does not understand why the world would deserve for him to continue. But the gods understood. Watching from behind us, the gods allowed the painter and Mother Sophia to live again. They allowed them to reincarnate, to be together again in a different story than this. And they did meet, and they were together, and the gods enjoyed it as they had their story receive a happy ending. But back down the timeline, the painter that we're watching did not. He was still alive, and he watched as his own reincarnation was allowed to be with the woman he could never have, and thus travelers. The final twist to this strange, broken, distorted tale, you see, we have been following the villain of this story. We have been following the original painter. And thus, Abel is born. Travelers, welcome to the neutral ending of the painter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we treat him! I don't see that boy! Well, if we had answered yeah, the riddle correctly. He wasn't able to make it today. Oh, so it was all based on the I, I, I don't see his custom yeah, pink line because the, there was a tour guide I, I, I missing, which is like a slip path later that we didn't right go there. on that adds a bunch uh, of other content. And today we walked into the new store like, running anyway, so it was going to end up this way no matter what. Yeah, we've been doing reruns, so... <laughs>
okay, yeah, so, so, so what I'm hearing is that They're all recorded. it was, Travelers, it was marketed as a RPG, but you can only RPG as one of person. Yo, 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 speak up. It wasn't marketed as an RPG. Apologies. This will be the final time I ask for your attention. Thank you so very much for going with me to the end of this strange story. Thank you. For those of you wondering about the performance and about what we've written, I should mention one detail, and that's that there is no script for this story. It is all improv. If you would like to know the details and what's really going on here, come to the after party and meet me at the bar. And I will speak freely. Now then, travelers, I ask one thing in return for you going on this story. Our tours are free and will always be free, but we do ask that you join our Discord so that you, that way, you can be a part of the community. And we ask that you post the photos or comments from today's tour there. The Discord ID is my status in VR chat. Please check my status and feel welcome to add me as a friend and join the Discord. It's there that we will post links to every Saturday's event and you can find clues to the lore that links all of our tours together. Now then, travelers. In about five minutes from now, I will open a portal back to the rendezvous for the after party. It is there that I will stay at Sheen's bar and I will answer questions. But for now, I would like to say thank you. Thank you to my fellow tour guide, Rendizo. And thank, thank you to you. all of you. The floor is yours. Thank you. <laughs> This was amazing. Yeah, I own the Bang your controllers Hello. together, respect, Let's please. Go. We own the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy your controllers and applause. Uh, it's worth the 150. <laughs> Scritch the floor out of his mind. Oh, are you using me? A night, put vowels. Yeah, those were expensive. I had a pair of ones, oh. but of course they broke and they were out of warranty, so mine. now I'm just saving up for our whole index kit. I thought the in doesn't yeah. the valve index come with a lifetime warranty? It, no, no, I think a one year. It's just a year.